simple as Daniel. Lane switchers. Free. Free. You can fix the mouse without silent patch. Historian. It's just easier to install Silent Patch and fix pretty much everything all at once outside of a speedrunning setting. But yeah, it's useless inside of speedrunning settings. Because it's a huge can of worms that you do not want to open. I'm, I'm speaking purely from a speedrunning perspective. In terms of casual play, I use mods quite a lot in games. Especially if I've like, if I played them through b vanilla beforehand, then I'll usually use mods to like, you know, work as basically free DLC, right? Expansions and whatnot. Nothing wrong with that. You're welcome to say regardless, Daniel.
is the time to open your eyes. I legit couldn't see the, the turn in there because of the fog. Let me in! Is that fog's is fixed in definitive? True. Better game, obviously. Oh, I missed my turn, shit. No, I didn't miss my turn. I turned too early. I wanna go to ammunition and get armor. Hard to believe there's still 50 minutes left in this round. There isn't if things go well. I haven't got any good runs past bait yet. So those last two splits have huge potential golds. So like the best possible time 156 is nonsense. This can be way better than that. GTA 4 run verified? Hell yeah. Please move. Hello? Oh, fuck me. Uh, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> I am not dealing with that. They would have killed me and I'm very lucky that they didn't just shoot me instantly. I don't know why they didn't, but I'm glad. This is perfect. Cars? Stinger, nice.
Yo, what's up? My mic's miles away. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Look at me being silly. Buenas tardes, Tom Pinks. What's the haps? The haps is I'm about to finish the most insane fucking speed run you've ever seen. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on, what's the word I'm thinking of? I'm going to like premeditate this run by turning my light on prematurely because I know this is gonna go right to the end and the sun's gonna set. That's how confident I am. Not gonna turn it on in half an hour's time. We're gonna be mid run by that point. No E Ben Void stream, yeah, sorry. Uh so to anyone who wasn't here at the end of last stream, um, I've hopefully found a consistent way to set up 30k on Waki Gashira. It's way easier than um than the other one, and I haven't failed it yet. So I did some more practice today and I still was able to do it just fine. So we'll we'll see how it goes. There was one where I almost failed it by about half a second, but I forgot to go and grab the cartel cruiser in usual Ben fashion. Uh, and I drove back just to see if I could still make it on time and I still made it. Like that is how fucking free that setup is. Like you can forget what you're doing and still be fine. Whereas the other one, if a single thing went slightly wrong, you were done. It was GG. Uh, also, Hox very kindly updated the auto splitter to work with the new emissions and stuff. So it should hopefully fully function and split on every split and whatever else. Um, I didn't actually check what missions I've set it to split for because I need to skip a couple. I need to skip bomb the base one, which I assume is still coded as a mission. And everything else should be fine, I think. Shame the splits of the old names. True, I can't be asked to redo them. Uh, Hawk's question. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... No, it doesn't matter. I, I'm going to waste everyone's time. Let's just get fucking going. It should just work, but we can give it a test. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just do it manually, so whatever. Yeah, Bomb to Base 1 is just a cutscene, but it's like technically coded as a mission, so the auto splitter has it in the mission list. But if I were to keep it checked, then it would split prematurely because I only have a split for the second part. So it would split for the second part when I complete the first part, I think. Because, you know, I complete that mission, so it's going to split when I complete that mission. <clears throat> it definitely works for Don't Spank that much, I can tell you. I mean, if it works for just Spank, uh, Don't Spank, then it surely works for everything, right? Like, logically. Because, you know, the changes are the same for every mission, so... We'll see. Uh, but yeah, hello everyone, welcome. If I didn't make a typo, they seemed fine from what I saw. And it actually worked out really convenient, Hox, because I didn't realize that the auto split a big XML on live split is um is pushed every week. It's pushed once a week. And it just so happens that it's pushed on a Sunday. And I didn't stream yesterday because I had plans anyway, so it didn't make a difference. And then on Sunday, the XML is updated and I'm ready to stream. It just it worked out so perfectly. It's pushed once a week if you're using a Stone Age version of Live Split. Oh, what? Was it there the whole time? But the. I thought it was based off the GitHub um, list on the Live Split GitHub, and that only gets updated once a week. I'm on the newest version of Live Split, I think. Oh, it already split. 
That's what I was going to ask. I was going to ask if it was going to already split when I start Luigi's Girl. So I need to have it so Luigi's Girl is not ticked. Because otherwise it will be always one off. Right, that's fine. I can do that next attempt. I was going to ask that, but then I was like, I'll just figure it out by myself. Like, it will take me two minutes to figure it out, you know? Yeah, so now I just go back up to the first split and I'll be fine. Just remind me when this run inevitably dies, or I finish it, that I need to redo it. But then this should work. Yeah. It is, but there's two. One in blah, blah, and one in live split, which is on the other back. Oh, okay. So, nowadays, if you... If you make one, does it just get like auto pushed to GitHub or whatever it is? Like, can you just use it straight away? I thought it was done weekly so that it could be like approved, you know, to make sure it's actually of decent quality and whatever else. But I guess maybe it used to be like that, and now because there's so many of them, they're not like publicly, uh, like manually vetted. I don't know. Okay, so you you just make a pull request and then that needs to be approved and then that's it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I thought they always had to manually add it to the list themselves, but okay. Good to know that if, you know, any other changes happen in the future that I don't have to wait for Sunday. I can just immediately do it. It's good to know. Uh, kind of, Tom. Ooh, God. Kind of. It's... It's a really hard run, but there are now lots of strats and setups to make it somewhat viable, but it's not, like, marathon safe by any means. Like, finishing a run at a marathon would be... almost impossible. All right, the important bit will be to see if it works on this mission. Because this has... This is both, like, uncharted territory in terms of testing, and it has a modified name. So, on the previous one, this is the first one where it wouldn't work. Eh? Hey! Dude, I love auto splitters. This is a slow-ass start of 5.11. Jesus. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. You're working like you left for Luigi now, huh? It's about time you got a driver we can trust. <laughs> One thing I have zero idea if it works is the last split. That makes sense because I, I looked through the auto split code and it seemed that, you know, like. It's using the same flags as before, but obviously because the mission is like so heavily modified, it might not work the same as in original. Like, it's kind of hard to tell without just testing it. So don't worry, I will test it for you when I finish this run right here. But in theory it should, because it's still checking for the same two things that the game still checks for. Like, the heli being dead and then Maria spawning, and then you losing control after you, like, trigger the final cutscene or whatever, right? Like, it's all the same triggers, realistically, so. it The auto-splitter shouldn't care, like, where Maria's positioned and, you know, what the time is like on the mission and all the different modeling stuff. Like, it shouldn't make a difference. But, yeah. I, I wouldn't be too surprised if it didn't work. Might need some minor tweaks or something, I don't know. But, yeah, I feel like it should be fine. We'll see. 
if I get a run into like Shoreside and then I like fail a bunch of missions and it all goes to shit, I could always just finish it just for the sake of testing stuff as well. <laughs> That's always an option is just, just do like basically a no reset. Yeah, the handle names for the heli check and stuff are the same. Yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense to change them, you know, because they're the same checks, ultimately. They're the same events happening, just in different places. But the code doesn't give a shit where the heli lands or where Maria is or where, where Claude is, as long as you're in range of her. It doesn't make a difference, you know. Hey, Zeon, what's up? How you doing? Did it move in memory due to the mission changes or something? Again, maybe. It's pretty hard to tell. So, we'll see. Easiest way is to just test it and then have a look if it doesn't work. You know, no point in like analyzing the code if it just works already. Uh, mm, uh, mm, this is... Ah, uh, taxi. Esperanto is so shit, I really considered taking the pony over it. It's long, too, which makes Van Heist annoying. Things get stuck, and then it just goes to shit, but taxi is basically the same as a cop car. I wouldn't even be surprised if a taxi is just a remodeled cop car, or vice versa, because they... They're literally, like... Look identical, just like recolors of each other. Yeah, it's a good one, Hustle. How's this going? Uh, this is first attempt, so I guess we'll see soon. Is the simple answer. That might be a bit close. We'll see. We. That cop is gonna fucking wreck my ass. Yeah. Yeah, mostly fine. Hey, Arco. What's up? <laughs> Huge. Oh, hustle fucking shilling on my behalf. What a guy. Young man. In the Navy. Young man. You're from the team, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Those washing women ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car until we just fix this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? Sorry, I was tubbed out. I thought I could see him as longer than it was. Uh, it's to skip the animation of you closing the door once you enter the car. Swerber. Hey, Control M. What's up? Bonsoir. Hey, Cam Bread. See, we got a good run. Oh, it's it's fine so far, but it's also very early on. So, do I think there will be an SA Titan Thrace? I mean, it, it's confirmed at this point. So, yes. In fact, I'd bet money on it. I'm I'm so confident it's going to happen. I'd bet my life savings that it will. <gasps> it's the Eben guarantee. No, in my luck, I'll do that, and then Rubble fucking have a heart attack, and products will be discontinued. That's really far right. That's not good. Ooh. Game is an opening. Fantastic. Don't forget to fix the first split. Oh, thank you. You're absolutely right. Legend. There we go. Splits fixed. Now we now we're on, now we're in business. If the game would just fucking close, that would be awesome. It's so weird. The game doesn't show in the process list, but it's obviously open. And I close DXWND and then it appears in the background processes, then I close it. It's so fucking weird. You can even see the first five missions on YouTube, you can. Sick. You don't have savings? Yeah, I do. I'm fucking rich. James, I'm a fucking Twitch partner, alright? Like, do not talk to me, fucking pleb garbage. I am a millionaire. You need to stop starting it manually. Oh, yeah. True. That's gonna be hard muscle memory to get rid of. Because I even do that in regular three, I think. Because for some reason, it, the three auto splitter doesn't start for me. For some weird reason. Everything else works, it just doesn't actually start the timer. Very strange. When am I coming back to VC Hundo? When I have time to run it. <laughs> the joys of working full time is that you don't really have time to then do like... You, know, you you get home from work, you eat some food, it's like 6 p.m. I don't really have time to do like a six hour stream every evening. This is the place right here. Let's get off the the three auto splitter is the ex exact same code. I don't know what to tell you, man. It doesn't work. I often hear the phrase, sure you're rich, but are you Eben rich? True. Like billionaire territory. Four hour run? Yeah, I mean, if I magically inherited the skills of a good player then I'd be fine but I'm not that good sadly so yeah I, I would like to do it I, I really enjoy VC hundo I'd even like to learn three hundo at some point as well because it would like increase my three skills a lot you know like I'd gain a ton of GTA 3 knowledge by running 100% or like all missions or something but just don't have time right now sadly <clears throat> Sadly.
but who knows, maybe one day. Plus the number of things that can go wrong, yeah. Like, if I did it, it would essentially become like one attempt per evening. If we get two hours in and the run dies, that's a, that's it. There's just, my only choice is to like do a bit of practice or just end the stream there. Because, yeah, like, it's shit. The other option is like practice all week and then try runs on the weekend, but that's also crap. Because, you know, practice should really be like, you know, not like the main content of the stream. You know, it should be runs. That's what people want to see. Like the practice should be like the B bonus show, you know, if you want to do it every now and again. Yeah, there isn't really like a good solution. Another option is like, run something shorter on the, the week, weekdays, but then learning Hundo and also running something else, like, you're not going to do either of them at a high level if you split your attention between them, you know? Like, I'm not good enough at any game to be able to run, like, several different categories all at once at a high level. Just not doable for me. I wish it was. I wish I could just pick up a s different run and once I've learned it, just play at optimal levels but I can't like that has to be my sole focus before I move on just have subway surfers running to keep the zoomers interested true we I need that come back I was hoping that I would hit the pedestrian and just like land right there rather than flinging off into the sunset can't forget the family guy funny moments in the top left corner, true. Fellow Zoomer here, I'd also appreciate some high-speed Tetris gameplay. Tetris. You just used the word Zuma and Tetris in the same sentence. Like, are you drunk? You think any Zuma has a fucking clue what Tetris is? Get real, man. What kind of Zuma plays Tetris? Exactly. That's that's uh, literally like the most boomer game you could possibly get. You know how many kids play modern Tetris nowadays? Not enough for it to be a Zuma staple like fucking Subway Surfers and Fortnite and shit. Today's children playing a Soviet era game, yeah. Like, there's just no way. That might despawn. Bollocks. Car, please. Oh, look at this. Come back. I might just have enough time to do this. Actually, maybe not. I might run out of time. Um. Yeah, this might be GG. I'll try to drop. Save it. Save the run.
As a Zuma, I must say that I grew up playing Tetris on a Game Boy Color. If you know what a Game Boy is, you're not a Zuma. You're just not. Alright, let's fucking nail this jump like I did last time. Anybody can be that guy. Ooh! Bit too far right. There's a joke in there somewhere. The game doesn't fucking open again. What the fuck, man? Is this gonna happen every single time I close the game? The fucking process is just gonna get stuck? All right, don't, don't press F9 to start the splits. There we go, easy. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But first, let's find a change of clothes. My hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. What's everyone's favorite ABBA song? And why is it Fernando? This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and change clothes. I like Vulebu. That's a pretty good one. <clears throat> I probably know like 10 ABBA songs, but only subconsciously. Just, uh, just cop out and just say this one that's playing. Problem solved. I'm not even sure what other ABBA songs I have on here. It's hard to think from the top of my head. But I have quite a few. Love a bit of ABBA. Fernando is in That 70s Show. Is that the actual name of the show? Or is it just a 70s show that you can't remember the name of? Oh, excuse me. Oh my god. I'm gonna explode if I keep hiccuping like that. It's the name of the show, okay. Never heard of it. I didn't know if you were just trying to think of a name of a show, you know. I've never heard of that 70s show. I don't think so. Yeah, family team, I agree. I mean, as James said, I also didn't have internet until I was like 14 or 15 or something. And even then we only had like a shitty modem, but yeah. That's because nobody in my family knew the first thing about technology. So it wasn't until I learned about technology that I saved up my pocket money and bought a fucking modem.
You could afford a modem at 14. No, I saved, I, I couldn't just afford it. Like I saved up for like two years and it was a shitty modem with one connection. Like it, it probably costs like 30 quid. <clears throat> Like, it's not like, you know, a router nowadays. This was like one single ADSL connection, one megabit. Connected via an Ethernet cable right into your Xbox 360. And then my youngest sister would be like, oh, I want to do my homework and I'd have to come off COD 4 and I'd be fucking fuming. Or we had a laptop on the kitchen table because that was the only place that we could plug it into the modem on our shitty phone line connection. And uh, I would like play old school RuneScape, well, RuneScape at the time. It wasn't old school RuneScape. And I'd like go in into like Sears Village Bank and like convince a load of people, like random people. Um, oh, wrong, wrong mission. <clears throat> convince a load of random people to join me to go and like mass King, King Black Dragon and then this is a specific memory by the way like this is I remember this happening and then uh, as soon as we were all on the way to like walking to go and kill uh, the King Black Dragon like on the way there my mum told me that I'd ran out of like computer time so I had to t I had to apologize to my 30 people following me that my mum said I had to go and that I could no longer uh, kill King Black Dragon. So they all went without me and had a great time. <clears throat> I love that you went to Sears for this, whoops. I don't remember why I was in Sears. I think I was like cutting maples or something. And I just like all of a sudden decided, but I remember it like it was yesterday. Did your voice crack like that back then too? No, funnily enough. I told you, I've, I've said this so many times, it's so weird. When I went through puberty, which is when your voice usually cracks, my voice never cracked, ever. And now I'm 25, I sound like I'm 13. It's so weird. Is there a reason why you always set the ambulance for Misty? It's the fastest vehicle that's available. Because if you take a cop car, you fail the mission. Ambulance is the second fastest vehicle there. And uh, Boopy, my, my health flashes because I picked up the information, which tries to describe to you like how your HP works. But then I skipped the cutscene. So because the cutscene never ends, um, it's still trying to like highlight my health to me. So it keeps flashing until I pass a mission. <laughs> I know this guy. He's connected. His name is Luigi. Me and him go back so I can probably get this work. Come on, let's head over. This is Luigi's club. Let's go around the back and use the service. Oh yeah, it's Sunday, 7 p.m. New Titan Thrice episode two up on YouTube. You should not go and watch it because you should watch this stream until its conclusion first, and then you should watch it. In fact, you should go to YouTube right now and you should add it to your watch later playlist and you can watch it later.
That thumbnail is great. I hope I remember to upload the custom thumbnail. I don't remember if I did. Oh, judging by rea your reaction, I did. So, good. You should just conclude your Sunday streams with premiering the video. How would you premiere a video on Twitch? Would you actually just like play back the file and just like watch it along with everyone? I would do that if it wasn't an hour long. An hour long is a long time to just sit and watch a video. You know. But if it was like a scripted project that was like 10 minutes or whatever. Do YouTube Premiere as like the feature? I honestly don't know what that feature even does. I just know it kind of sets it up like a live stream so people can kind of like react to it. But like, what's the point? You expect us to watch it? I always wonder, like, unironically, um, how much of my YouTube and Twitch audience overlaps? Because my Twitch audience and YouTube audience are gained from like completely different places, you know? So there are, there are quite a few people who obviously watch both, right? But if people religiously watch my streams, they don't really have a reason to watch too much of my YouTube stuff. Because it's usually just also done on stream, you know? Um, there are some exceptions, of course, like my guides and whatever are pretty much exquisitely done to YouTube. Yeah, exactly. If it's a thing you watch live, there's no point in re-watching it on YouTube. But there are a lot of people who come into my Twitch and they say like... You know, I've been watching on you on YouTube for a while, finally caught a stream, blah, 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 blah. Um, so there, there is definitely quite a big overlap. And I think, co like, continuously, it's it's gaining more and more as it goes along. Because the more and more people realize, you know, like, oh, he streams on Twitch, he does this thing live, like, cool, and comes and checks it out, which is cool. <clears throat> But I can only imagine, like, the actual active people who watch both are probably only a small percentage. Probably like 5 to 10% if I had to guess. It's not a lot, I don't think. Oh, that's not good. Hey, that's fine, Boopy. Whatever works for you, you know. YouTube and Twitch can be, like, a hell of an escape from, you know feeling shit in the real world like it's it's very normal to find an escape in like internet based activities you know Just chill and watch some games I do it quite a lot when I feel shit Just watch a stream and chill out play some games you know yeah watch a bit before bed nothing wrong with that Yeah, it makes sense, MVT. I feel like quite a few people do that. You can try asking this question on a community post to get an idea of the numbers. That's true. I could do that. I probably should post more on the community side stuff because it can be quite good, I've heard, to, you know, kind of keep audience retention in between uploads. You know, like asking them to vote in polls and... You know, give feedback and whatever else. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. This is why I need to hire, like, basically a full time, like, PA to just, you know. To like run all my shit for me. And I'll just play the game. And they can do everything else, all the admin stuff. When I get rich and famous. I mean, more rich and more famous, because I'm already rich and famous. <laughs> I'm super rich and super famous. You just hire Liv? I mean, it would make sense if she, if she wanted it and I had the money to do it. 
then sure like because you know she she knows like my schedule and stuff better than anyone else at this point so i feel like that's a pretty common thing to like upload uh, upload like hire people that you know like partners or friends or whatever else but obviously that can have its own problems you know don't shit where you eat etc etc I don't think my heart could take your first reaction to 1.0 of this again. Right. There's never any hard feelings. I know you always do a good job. It's just, you know, I get frustrated. And I'm passionate. <laughs> Liv would start writing a community person and get distracted by an Instagram reel. True. That's so true. And I'm a content creator, so I have to scream 90% of the time. True. If anything even minorly inconveniences, inconveniences me, I, I need to be like, Yo, that's so troll, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way, dude. Oh, that's so troll, dude. GG. GG, dude. Oh, GG. Why did I do that? Fuck. Uh, that's not enough of a time loss. That's like 20 seconds. I can just go and get another police car. Actually, I don't even need a police car. Just give me that taxi, please. Fuck. Give me this taxi. Brain delay. Yeah, I'm fucking trolling. Hey, Root. What's up? Mahaba. Do, do, do. Oh, I've got this fucking meme again. Does anyone know how to fix this? Like, I'm pressing replays. There we go. Like, it takes like a hundred attempts to for the fucking replay to work. I don't know why. That's like a minute lost. Whatever. I don't care. I'll lose more than a minute throughout the rest of the run making dumber mistakes, I'm sure. Watch the rest of this run be absolutely perfect. And it'll be the classic tale of like, if I'd have just, you know, fucking reset and done another attempt. Delayed inputs. It's weird. It's, and it only happens when you're holding a submission. It just, like you can't play replays for a while. You just have to mash the keys and then eventually they start working again. Like it's so strange. I don't know why. Is there a command that explains what Titan Thrice is? Uh, it should be exclamation mark mod. Fucking hell. Give me this instead. This lady doesn't need to come with, but whatever. Fuck it. I just hope she doesn't get in the way, which she probably will, knowing my luck. Yeah, well, she got in the way. Jesus fucking Christ. At least we didn't get three stars.
Uh, no, Rude. Titan SA doesn't exist yet. But it will soon, I'm sure. I have an inside source. Ugh. It's a good thing that bribe pickup hitbox is so astronomically large. Because, my god. Yeah, when, when Titan Dessay does get released, depending on how long it takes to beat, I might do like a trilogy run. You know, like Titan Vi uh, Thrice, Vice, and then Titan Dreas, but that's a that's a long that's a long ass run. You know, it's probably like a fucking twelve hour stream or something right there. So we'll see. I definitely want to do a. Uh, a toughened Titan Vice and Titan Thrice trilogy run as well. But I need to get way better at Thrice before that happens. Because, you know, if I can't even finish runs, like, just by themselves, how do I expect to do it at the end of a trilogy run? You know? When was Thrice released? Um, like, a month or two ago? It wasn't long ago. But my perception of time is so fucked. It could have been like six months ago, and I wouldn't know. But yeah, SA would be basically the entire run. But that's what always happens in trilogy runs, you know. Six hour run and like four and a half of it is fucking SA. 21st of March, yeah, like a month. I was right, of course I'm right. I'm a genius. Why are you getting dogged? You're not. I, everyone who's mentioned the title has complimented it. It's a triad ambush. Get us out of here, kid. <laughs> That's a much better angle than last time. Never mind. I I don't get this ramp. Like, that was a perfect jump. I was going the maximum speed possible. And then I just don't make the jump. <laughs> like, I, I don't get it. All right, game instantly closes. Nice. Do you still play Hearthstone? I haven't played Hearthstone in like... I know a place for the edges. <sighs> six years. But first, let's find a change of clothes. My hands are all messed up. So you better drive, brother. We that doesn't reset properly. It's fine. It's because I closed the game, I think. That's odd. I saw the Azure activity the other month on Discord. I haven't touched Hearthstone in so long. Unless I like booted it up for some random reason and then closed it again, like maybe I opened it by mistake or something. But yeah, like I haven't played a proper match of Hearthstone in six years. Probably more. Ah, uh, this is so slow. Huge dollars.
This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and change clothes. <laughs> I know this guy. He's connected. His name is Dimitri. Me and him go back so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. This is Dimitri's club. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Three oh four, fucking hell. Kino. That's exactly what it was, Hustle, yeah. I originally made the, the Discord exclusively so, like, GTA people could, could, like, discuss the SA plans and hang out and whatever else. And then it kind of evolved into, like, also my Discord because people were asking, like, do you have a Discord? And I was like, yeah, but also no. So I was like, you know, if you really want to join one, you can join this one. And just set up some, you know, basic channels and stuff. But I don't really promote my Discord or anything because, like, anything that you can do in my Discord, you might as well just join the hash GTA Discord where I'm a lot more active and talk to me in there about GTA stuff or whatever, you know? Or, like, if you desperately need me for anything, you can just DM me on anything. Like, my DMs are open everywhere. Five fifteen. Care now. Who the hell are you talking? That is a horrible angle, just aiming right at the fucking lamppost. You walk a regular fellow. That's better. But I want to talk to you here on stream to feel my parasocial bond. Then you're more than welcome to. You know, that's why I've got my mic on. So people can fuel their parasocial agendas by talking to me. That's the only reason that I talk on my streams. Please get in. Thank you. Oh, huge doll loss. I missed it, huh? 
probably saves absolutely zero time. <clears throat> what are these missions? They are the same, but like different. You can type exclamation mark mod if you're unsure on what I'm doing. Also, hi, headshot. 91, how's it going? Validate me, Daddy Ben. All right. The parasocial to subscriber pipeline. Yeah, it's my my business model is gaslighting my viewers into thinking I'm their friend, so they give me money. It's genius when you think about it. What what could possibly go wrong? I'm sure, that Ben's Discord isn't just an online graveyard. Yeah, basically. But that's the thing, like, I don't really care if it's dead, if no one's talking in it, because, like, I don't promote it at all for that exact reason, you know? Like, the Discord has a purpose. You're welcome to join it if you don't want to be part of that purpose, but want to join anyway. But, like, you know, I, I'm not, like, pretending that it's like, a, oh, yeah, like, when I'm offline, I'll, you'll find me here. It's like, that's what the GTA server's for, you know? Like, that is basically, like, my home that I read a lot of channels in and talk in daily and stuff. Hey, Mike. Uh, my weekend's been pretty good. I've... I worked yesterday and today, but I got a Thursday and Friday off, so... It's all good. But weekend shifts are pretty chill at my job because there's never anything going on, so I basically just get paid to sit and do nothing, which is, you know, fantastic. Cause I trashed the vehicle there, running over a fucking thing. It's being kept solely for the purpose of using so much on Discord. That's also a reason, yeah. A minor reason. Hey, Shikari. What's up? Good evening. Oopsie. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But first, let's find a change of clothes. My hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Ooh, excuse me. What's the best way to know when you go live? Twitch chat never shows me notifications. Yeah, I've heard Twitch notifications are garbage. Um, I tweet every single time I go live, like at the second I go live. And I also have a bot that posts it in my announcements channel in my Discord. So if you use either of those platforms, those would probably be the easiest way. Because those ones actually work properly, you know. Stalking. Yeah, I mean, that would also work, yeah. Imagine if Twitch actually functioned on a basic level. It's a bit weird to think about, isn't it? The dystopia where Twitch is actually a good platform. Ain't no way. I have Twitch on my phone with the notification bell turned on, but even though I usually get a message 30 minutes into the stream that you're live, yeah. I, I, I've heard that that's a very common issue. 
like either the notifications just don't go out at all or they do <clears throat> but like half an hour late Bezos would need English Ben money to make Twitch work true Come on, Misty. I ain't got all fucking day. Thank you. But yeah, I don't have like notifications on for anything. I just, when I want to watch Twitch, I load up Twitch on my following page and I just see who's live at the time, like who happens to be live and then I'll watch their stream. Like I don't, specifically watch anyone in particular, you know? I just see it in hash streams on hash GTA. Yeah. You used to be able to see your Discord icon turn purple as a hope now. That's weird. Like, I haven't changed anything. I don't know why that doesn't work anymore. Guy like me just checks hash streams in GTA Discord. I don't even look at that channel, I'll be honest. Like, I, I had no idea I was even on that channel until someone told me. Like, say I just, I just browse Twitch when I want to watch and just watch whoever's there. You know, right place, right time kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, Hustle, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it works on my end. Like, every time I've checked it, it works. But it just doesn't show for some people. Like, I don't know. I haven't changed anything. Sometimes reconnecting your account can help. Yeah, I can try that. But streamer mode is definitely on, because otherwise you'd hear like pings and stuff all the time. Because you know, I'm so popular that I wouldn't be able to go a stream without getting mass DM'd by all my fans, you know? Because I'm super rich and super famous. Because obviously, you know, money is directly tied to how many DMs you get on Discord, as we all know. Well, I'm glad you choose me sometimes, Paradox. True honor. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Yeah, it's it's probably like the Discord integration thing got, yeah, like the, the connection got severed somewhere and it just hasn't told me. Thanks for lending me your Rolls, Rolls Royce, Ben. No worries, mate. Happy to help. Sorry. My bad, Misty. Here he is. Can confirm, that's why I sleep on a mattress on the floor. You get my monthly prime? Fuck yeah. That's why you'll always be my favorite paradox. Until you stop subscribing to me, in which case you'll no longer be my favorite. I couldn't even keep a straight face while saying that, sorry. But I meant it. Absolutely meant it.
Can I ask you a question regarding ESA submissions here? Sure. Either Prime Command? Yeah, the amount of people that had a Prime Command when Twitch Prime came out, like, and they, they, they shield it as like, oh, I'm just, you know, letting everyone know that they get a free sub that they can use on anyone. Yeah, I fucking bet you. <laughs> like, of course you were. Like, did you guys know? that, you know, if you have Amazon Prime, like, you, you can give a sub to anyone. So while you're in my stream, you might as well give it to me. It's like, yeah, mm, how convenient. Like, if you're going to do shit like that, that's fine. But don't try and, like, bullshit your viewers into going like, oh, I'm just trying to help you. No, the reason it's there is because you want people to give the Prime to you. And, like, that's fine, but just be fucking honest about it, you know? Like, it's just weird to, to beat around the bush and be like, you know, making up excuses and shit. Like, especially if you're a full-time streamer, you know, it's your job to get subs and donations and stuff. Like, it's not weird to say, yo, by the way, just so you know, like, this is my livelihood. Like, I need to make X amount to be able to have a roof over my head and continue doing streams. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's the lying that makes it weird like people pretend that i'm just doing you a favor by reminding me reminding you that you can give me money it's like fuck. it's so weird man guess i've answered it myself well uh, happy to help i suppose I only need a way to spend my 31k cringe coins. If you if you have any suggestions on what I can do to allow people to spend their channel points, you're you're more than welcome to suggest it. Cuz I'm terrible with creative ideas when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, you know, I just like to play games. Audio alerts, I would rather shit in my hands and clap. No, thank you. Any IT folks over here? Um, probably somewhere if you look hard enough. It got raised to one mil because of predictions and you never do them. I did them enough for people to get like 500,000 points in a week hustle. Like, you don't need to do them often for that to be a problem. Oh! Please? I'm a criminal! Fuck. Fish van. Another fish van. I just love the smell of inflation. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, uh, what is it? Like 1,000% fucking inflation price. What's a prediction I can create? I don't know, man. You're the fucking mod. Figure it out. I've got games to play. Will this even work? Oh yeah, will I make the uh, the 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 jump on the next mission, or will I drown and die? Will this run finish would be fucking cruel because you would see no one believing in you. I would just finish it out of pure spite. But outcomes like that are dumb because I can literally just choose whether that happens or not. Like, I can just turn it into a no reset. 
It should be something that is out of my control. Like, will this strategy work, yes or no? Like, a, a good one is the stunt jump. It's out of my control. It works like 80% of the time, but it, it hasn't worked two times in a row now, so, you know. It's a good example of a prediction. Hey, chat GPT, can you give me a few ideas? Yeah. I should use ChatGPT more. I'm sure it would solve like so many of my problems in life if I just got into using it, you know. Like just using it to like, you know, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? I'm in uni right now and I gotta say chat GBT has the answer to everything I ask it, yeah. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Hey bye Frost, thanks buddy. Try an ambush, ain't no way. Oh fuck. No, please. If I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail on the jump. Also, yeah, if there's a prediction, then I'll I'll do it again until we get an outcome. Oh, that is one hell of a wall of text, Boopy. Good luck with that. <laughs> Watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? Reached Taunton Island in two hours of uptime. You would think that would be easy, but... It just isn't, man. I don't know what to tell you. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. You made Hustle do predictions. I didn't make him do anything. He just likes to throw his weight around. He's power hungry, Alex. Tom, you voted no? I thought you were my fucking boy, Tom. What the fuck, man? Ugh. Not again. Are you fucking serious, man? Oh my god. What a joke. Bro, I'm trying, okay? I will get this outcome. Even, just for the sake of the prediction, I, I will get it. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection. <clears throat> watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? We'll even hit the jump within the next 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. 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 
I have a wanted level. Bro! Wait here. Keep the Scream at it and it'll start working. Alright, I'm gonna drive at like five miles an hour this time. Can't possibly flip, right? Clueless. All right, the moment of truth. That's a good jump, I think. Yay! I think they can mess with me. The triads with me. At least now we have our answer. See, I always believed in you. I hope you bet all of your points and fucking lost them, Tom. I hope that keeps you up at night. Too many believers. What was the percentage of believers? Eighty-eight percent. All right, I forgive you all. Fucking legends. I was gonna say if it was anything less than ninety, I'd be fuming, but I'll take uh, eighty-eight. That's pretty good. That's a regional thing, Tom. Certain countries can't participate in predictions because it's gambling. Mods have infinite channel points. That is not true. Can you explain this mod? I haven't been able to tune in for a while. If you type exclamation mark mod, there's a proper description for you. It'll... Uh, It'll give you a better one than I can mid-run. Me when I spread misinformation on the internet. Hey Calvin, by the way. Some big guy. I don't know if you said hi earlier and I missed it. I apologize. Yo, good luck. I did not. Well, my bad for calling you out then. Oh. Wow, 700 million raiders from Fresh Riggy have joined. Thanks, buddy. Hope you had a fantastic, sexy little stream. Hello, all. Uh, what does Riggy call his, call, his, call his fans? Does he have like a name for his subs and stuff? What is up, the 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 fresh freshes? A any freshes? The Rigsters? It's Rick Cult Cowboys. Cowboys is pretty good. What's up, Cowboys? Yeehaw! <laughs> Hi, 
How did your uh, previous hundo run die, Riggy? I saw that you were like starting again today. The last time I saw you were like a fucking hour ahead or something. Ben, what do you call your cult? Uh, I don't know if James is still here, but he came up with a pretty good name. I'll give him like a minute, and if not, I'll tell you. E benders, that's the one. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being an e bender. Well, the mini game soft locked and I couldn't progress. Whack. Sorry to hear that. Yo, Momo, what's up? Thanks for the good luck. Guten Abend. But a new run is pretty good too. I'm already pace powering just thinking about it. I'm so excited to join in the last five minutes and go, we did it guys. We. Hey, good fella. Thanks for the good luck. What the hell? <clears throat> Sounds like an e -ben thing to do. There's nothing wrong with a bit of pace, Palin. So right, one day in like 2024, when I finally get around to finishing Red Dead 2, I can start watching your uh, your runs without spoiling myself past chapter one. Blessed. He's not as bad as Cosney. I haven't seen Cosney in fucking weeks. Where has he been? Has he been like fucking conscripted again or whatever? Why is this not a stunt jump? That's what I'm saying. Hey, Enzio, thanks for the sub, big guy. Did I find all the USJs? I mean, I didn't find them all, but I watched your videos to potentially think of a route for money, but then it turns out I didn't need it, so. So I had a look at them on YouTube. Because I'm lazy and I couldn't be asked to figure it out myself. Did I download that bot as well or is some mod busy? No, Hustle's just fucking slaving away for some reason.
We are watching you anyway. Might as well use my fingers as I do my ears and my eyes. I couldn't think of a more fucking geeky way to describe watching a stream. If I tried, I, I genuinely don't think I could output anything worse than that. <laughs> fucking hell. The absolute state of that sentence. Hustle is definitely the chief e bender with that statement. True. I forgot to actually bet points. You'll, you'll be a trusted, um, efficient gambler in no time, don't worry. Who's beating me up? Fuck off. Yeah, gamba. Uh, this, please. Thank you. Sorry. What is the prediction for this time? I'm using a like an IRC client for chat, so I can't see predictions. I can see what people have voted because it shows their icons, but I don't know what they're voting for. Any tell us? Ninety five percent. Ninety five percent. What? What does that mean? What the? F Hello? I fucking hit a cardboard box and somehow blew up. That is bollocks. Make the jump this time. Oh, okay. I see. Another minute down the drain to dumb shit for no reason. Epic, dude. Hey. All believers will hereafter be referred to as Benonites. Benonites? If anyone gets that really fucking obscure reference, I will be mega impressed. Nice angry driver. If he would have set me on fire, I'd have been so upset.
Uh, mods can do it, Paradox. No reaction on the reference. That's how you know it's a good one. If not a single person gets it. That's how you know it's a real good one. Oh, it on no. Don't call me petty, NZO, but I'm going to fling this into the fucking water just out of spite, man. Don't think I won't. Say as it is, it's never even heard of that 70s show. True. Oops. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Oh my fucking. Oh, I felt like that was Oh, what a fucking tune. What a fucking song for this, uh, for this bit as well. It's a triad ambush. Get us out of here, kid. Staring blankly ahead, just making my way, making my way through the crowd. I need you. I miss you, and now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Do you think time would pass me by? Fuck you, Vanessa Carlton. This jump's bullshit, man. Like, what was wrong with that jump? I literally hit it max speed. No issues with the lineup, and then it just, just doesn't work. Like, what am I doing wrong? It's just random. Enzio, I, help, I hope you step on a plug tomorrow morning. Let's find a change of clothes. My hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. It's one less song on the playlist. No, I could never do Vanessa like that. It's one of my favorite songs on there. Yeah, on a British plug specifically, yeah, exactly. That doesn't make any sense though, Rob. Like, hitting a ramp straight should give you the most distance on a jump. Like, hitting it angled should give you less. Like, I can try it, but, yeah. I think the skirts of the car are low enough that hitting it straight bumps the bottom of the car. I don't know, man. Hey, plug Thid. What's up? Speaking of plugs. And if you'd like... And if you like some other time, I would like to introduce you to the finer thing. If we survive, if we survive, get out alive, I'd like to say how beautiful I think you are. How's the run? Two minutes in is how the run is. Some other time, I would like to introduce you to the finer things. If we survive... If we survive, get out alive, I'd like to say how beautiful I think you. Just keep on hold of me, don't let go. 
Nice? Yeah, it's pretty nice. We're almost three minutes in, though. I can barely control this thing. Nice bus. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Nice bus. Just keep on hold of me. You know what? Vanessa Carlton's coming back on. Because she's my girl and I can't skip her like that. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing, I'm homebound. Staring blankly ahead, making my way, making my way through the crowd. Hey, skin tick, I miss you, and now I wonder. Thank you for the YouTube content. So you release a new video. Gonna watch it tomorrow on breakfast. You're more than welcome. Cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight. It's always times like these when I think of you and I wonder if you ever think of me. Cause everything's so wrong and I don't belong living in your precious memory. I need you and I miss you and now I wonder if I could fall into the sky, do you think time would pass me by? Oh, cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight. Oh, what a fucking song. I love this song. Yo, Harry, what's up? I, I want to let you go. I, I live in your memory. I don't want to let this go. Don't. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing, I'm homebound. Staring blankly ahead, making my way, making my way through the crowd. I still need you, and I still miss you, and now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Do you think time would pass? us by cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you if I could fall into the sky do you think time would pass me by cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you if I could just hold you tonight. Oh, Vanessa, you fucking babe. That might be one of my favorite songs of all time. In fact, I think it is. That's probably like top five favorite songs of all time. What a fucking song that is. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now I need to find a convenient time to turn the music down again.
Okay, thanks, Pika. I really hope this is the run. That will be a hilarious YouTube uh, thing with no music. I'll just splice the music in and just take the DMCA violation. <laughs> or I'll splice a cover on top so it sounds like I'm actually singing well. It's genius. There we go. That's normal. <clears throat> Vanessa would never DMCA you. She wouldn't, because she's my fucking gal pal, but the, uh, the dickheads at the record labels might. And maybe because I started off the VOD with fuck you, Vanessa, <laughs> she might actually, <laughs> she might do it out of spite. Who knows? Ooh. Let me. Is this Monster Cat? No, it's not. But it, it's it's a very similar, you know, genre, I guess. It's very much like chill step music. <laughs> Is it Skrillex? No. I'm sure Fucking big brain idea. Actually, that's completely equal. Doesn't save or lose any time. I don't think I've ever heard another Vanessa Carlton song. She is very much a one hit wonder, which is sad because she does have some other good music. I'm not like a super fan or anything, but I've listened to some of her other stuff and it's good, but it's not nearly as well known as uh, Thousand Miles, obviously. <laughs> Might be Daft Punk, close enough. Cop car. Yoink. Sorry, lady. Fuck you. Hopefully these cops don't screw me here. That would not be very cash money of them. And the triads as well, apparently. Uh, that's probably fine. I can just leave it there. Why did all the cops run away? And not the cops, the, uh... What's it called? Oh, we got three stars. That's a bit grim, but... Sure, I guess. Hello. Is that the lady from Toughened? It is indeed. Making her cameo appearance in this as well. This is a bit slow because I've got to get another bribe star, but oh fuck. Well. And then I hit a lamppost and somehow set on fire. Awesome. Well, there goes any chance of Vanessa Carlton being uh, covered in the YouTube video.
placed on the edge of the red light district. Unlucky. Can lay low. But first, let's find a change of clothes. Well. My hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. <sighs> Two hours of Portland. Good shit. Of all things to fuck me over as well. Fucking that stunt jump. Wasn't aware Lamp posted 900 damage. That's the thing, they don't. But sometimes physics bug out and you, you hit them like a brick wall. And they just completely fuck your car up. Not really a lot you can do about it, sadly. Wonders of GTA 3, yeah. Hey, Anakin. Thanks, buddy. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and change clothes. <laughs> Excuse me. Any new shit? Uh, the new shit is a much more consistent way to set up 30k after uh, evidence dash dupe. Which I haven't been able to show off yet because I haven't gone out of Portland. But it is way more consistent. How? Um, so instead of driving to the patch of grass near Donald's place to trigger... Um, there is actually like a really thin bit of land in between Belleville and Newport um, where like it's there's like a, there's no overlap between the uh, the two regions and basically what that means is is because the game the mission script doesn't actually care where the cartel cruiser is at the end of Wakagashira. All you need to do is not be in these certain districts and be out of the car and the mission passes. So what you can do is you can just drive a bit further north of Torrington into this like area and then run over the seam and the mission passes. So it's it's there's way more leeway to set up 30k. Whereas before you had like 5 seconds if everything went perfectly. Now you have like 25 seconds, it's 30 seconds. So it's way more consistent. I've also rooted in some more wardrobe warps as well. In Espresso to go and what else? Uh, Liberator as well. So, but they're pretty minor. Maybe like. 30 seconds each, something like that. What you doing? Yeah, the main thing is the 30k setup. Saves a lot of time. Because it skips buying weapons slash money issues slash firefighter slash stunt jumps, you know, any other way of grinding money that would be very slow. So it's, it's much faster. I'm hoping I'll be able to show it off tonight. I'll start uh, resetting less, you know, on small mistakes and just try and get a run going, even if it's a bit crap. But yeah, there isn't a lot I can do sometimes, you know. Like, if the Kipriani chauffeur stunt jump doesn't work, then that's just like two and a half minutes down the drain or some shit. Like, I can't really recover from that, sadly. Oops. That was bad, but whatever.
so we'll see. I just got a Polish Amazon Prime ad on Twitch that was a literal dump jump scare. Fuck them. What the fuck? Aren't you like not allowed to put jump scares and stuff in like media nowadays? Like ever since that fucking German drinks company did it in like the mid 2000s and pissed a lot of people off with the ghost car jump scare thing. Anyone remember what I'm talking about? Like, I'm pretty sure that shit's like illegal now, no? Although I will say, there's a there's a new I think it's like a Nick Cage film or something that's coming out. Um, probably knowing Nick Cage, it's probably him. Um, you you guys know what I'm talking about, like the uh, the the vampire one. It's like a Dracula film or something like a like a a woke Dracula film. And in that trailer that I keep getting on Twitch, he like jumps towards the screen. Which, like, it isn't, like, a really big jump scare, but it kind of is a little bit. And I was wondering, like, are they even allowed to do that shit anymore? Renfield sounds right, yeah. Hey, Vildin, what's up? Depends on the country. Yeah, probably. But yeah, like, I, I know there's definitely some regulations around that. Because it was, like, actually causing people, you know, with, like, heart issues and whatever else to, like, actually have problems. Just putting, like, jump scares on TV. Reminds me of that one commercial in the early 2000s. That's that's what that's the one that I'm referring to, Veldin. Like, that's that's what I was saying. Ever since that like ghost car commercial that came out, that was like branding for the that German like energy drink company. Like, I'm pretty sure that's like illegal nowadays to do that shit. <laughs> yeah, Rob. Yeah, this play that's why this playlist is so good, Mackenzie. It's like Deathcore to Taylor Swift and back again. It's the best kind of playlist. It has everything. It has a little bit for everyone, you know? What the piss is Deathcore? Fuck, I did it again. Um, God, how do you describe death core? I don't know, like death metal core. I don't know. <laughs> it's like a subgenre of a subgenre, so it's it's pretty hard to. It's pretty hard to uh, actually 
talk about like what the differences are. Like I don't fucking know, man. You fell into my clever scheme of conversing with you. You got me. Oh, this meme again. When well, my replays don't work. There we go. I'm picking music for the project I'm working on and that's so hard. Pick up my cover of... Uh, a Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. Everyone in this stream that was here in the last 10 minutes can tell you how good it is. Whoops. Hey, chap. On the pickup mission, you don't need to kill the triads. You do. You have to blow up the van and kill all the triads that ambush you. We are looking through lots of 80s city pop. I see. Don't think you fit? Well, fuck you too. It's a bit tight. Still ain't finished the run. I haven't gotten past the Kipriani's chauffeur today. I've gotten there three times, and all three times I've hit the ramp like perfectly well and just haven't made the jump and died. It's been pretty annoying, but yeah. Not a lot I can do. Just physics fucking me over, you know? Maybe this one will be, will be different, Clueless. He did kill them, Skunter. Nice flip, officer. Nice random guy in a panzer. That's not the random guy, that's the uh, the cop that chases you down. I've never seen him before, because I've never... Like, he's never caught up with me. But I'm pretty sure that was him, because I could hear him shooting his AK. Weird. Yeah, the cop that fucking one-tapped Josh the second he finished this mission. That was a good one. Gold van heist somehow. I'll take it. Those washing women ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? <laughs> Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. It's a triad ambush. Get us out of here, kid. Jesus, that Yankee's flying. It could be my bodyguard, it could be my personal escort. I'll try and hit the ramp like a little bit off to the right. Like that. 
Well, that was kind of straight, actually. Thank God. The we made it. Mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop by later and we'll give them something to launder. I wonder what happens if you trigger the cutscene and then drown. <laughs> from, like, landing. Now we can actually experience the rest of the run. How exciting. It's a shame it's on a run that lost a minute on Chunky because I fucked up the strat, but whatever. Whatever. Now I've got to actually remember what to do for the, uh... For the rest of the run. Because <laughs> I'm so used to just doing the same four missions over and over again. And I'm like, oh yeah, how do I actually do this? The rest of the game. Fuck knows, I'll figure it out. See how good the pattern is today. Doesn't look that good. Uh, they're all literally across the map from each other. Whack. Oh well. Even if you get a horrendous pattern, it's usually like a 10 20 second difference. Oh, these two are pretty good. They're pretty close to each other. That was good, actually. Oh, and straight into a fish van? That's good. Carly really complain with that. Opens a walkthrough. Yeah. Sadly, I don't think there'll be any walkthroughs for this. Especially on the speedrun. I think I'm all on my own. Uh, I'm almost starting the wrong mission. <laughs> that would have been bad. Just driving to Joey's out of instinct. Because again, I'm, I'm not used to having Tony's missions unlocked. I'm just, yeah, it's straight to fucking Joey. That would have been very bad. Luckily, I stopped myself. Thank goodness. Well, that probably would have been a goal, but I fucked it up, so. This chin is a blast. Fucking example's got some wobblers. Don't like where we're going. Kickstarts by example is such a fucking cum banger of a song. I was blasting it out on a bike ride the other day. It was last Sunday, actually. Sunday morning back bike ride listening to, ex to example. The gnarly bop and lean, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ, that guy almost got me killed. That little prick. He's still alive. Yep. Yeah. it. Still hitting the gym? Yeah, I'm still trying to go like two or three times a week, depending on when I'm at work and stuff. Doing me best. Fuck off, bro. Where is this prick? Yeah, my subscription expires in the summer because I paid for 15 months in advance. Because they did like a 15 months for the price of 12 thing. But I'm probably not going to renew it because I'm like pretty much exclusively doing cardio at the gym. And I can just do cardio for free outside, you know, so. I might renew it again if I start getting into weights again, but. <sighs> but yeah, I've like exclusively been doing it to lose weight. Just doing cardio and stuff, so. Treadmill fucks my knees. I don't really do treadmill that much. I'll maybe do like a mile on the treadmill max. 
most of the stuff I do is like rowing or like cycling, stuff like that. It's a lot, a lot more fun in my opinion. I fucking hate running. I hate it with a passion. Paying for the gym to only run is literally zero IQ. Yeah, that's why I don't plan on doing it. If I am just going to do cardio, like I enjoy taking my bike out and just riding around, you know, for like an hour and just exercising that way. So it's way cheaper as well. So that's my plan. But I originally got my gym membership to build strength and not be a little weak bastard. So I was doing weights for like for a little bit. Not anything like super serious or anything, but. Say so it's all mainly just for the sake of getting in better shape. Following a strength program? Not really, no. I say I, I didn't do it like super seriously or anything. It was just one to get out of the house because I obviously work from home. So like, so if I don't choose to go out the house, you know, I could spend a week inside and be really unhealthy. So it was like A, to, to get out of the house, and B, just to build up strength, you know? I was thinking I needed to do the gym or whatever until I realized that I am perfectly content with being weak and fragile. Yeah, I mean, if you, you're fine with that, then go for it, you know? My Christmas present last year was a gym membership. Bit rude, but we'll take it. You can think of that, but you can also think of it, NZO, as like, well, at least it's something that's actually good and you'll use, you know? Like, I fucking hate getting gifts that I have no use for, no matter how nice they are. I know that sounds a little bit ungrateful, but I hope you know what I mean. Like, I'd much rather have a gift that is less expensive, but that I actually will make use of. Then, you know, and like an expensive watch or something if I don't wear a watch. Like, I'm just going to fucking sell it. It's useless to me. You know? Like, you got to see, see the good in everything, you know? Even if your family are secretly telling you. I can't move, by the way. I'm completely stuck. I'm on this tiny bit. Look at this. This tiny bit of grey fucking hood or whatever that was. I just got completely stuck on for like 20 seconds. And now I'm getting T-boned and fucking pit maneuvered by random angry drivers. I love this mission, it's so fun. I was fully expecting to die on that mission then, because I got screwed. I'm surprised I made it out alive. There comes a tipping point where socks for Christmas suddenly becomes a stonker of a gift. Exactly. That's how you know you're fucking old. If you get socks and you're like, yes! Because it's actually something that you'll use. Hey guys, do you mind if I just climb this hill real quick? Is that okay? Thanks. But yeah, anything like that. Any kind of like clothes or... I mean, even food. You know, just like shit that you'll use. It's so much better. I remember Liv got me a fantastic gift for Valentine's as part of her like Valentine's Day present to me. She got me um, basically like a travel bag with all the small, you know, like 100 milliliter shampoo, shower gel and everything that I liked. So like it wasn't anything mad expensive, but it just saved me the effort of doing it myself for when I went to ESA Winter. Like that is an awesome gift. It's just something that I'm going to use. It saves me a ton of time and effort putting it together myself. Like, that's a, that's a great gift. It could have cost her fucking two quid, and I don't care. That was one of the best gifts I've ever received. Legendary. I realized I got old when I got so happy when I bought a new vacuum cleaner. Dude, I've got a Henry the Hoover, and he's a little fucking belter. I love Henry. I'd love a Henry. I've got a Henry. Not to flex or anything, but... <laughs> I 
This is a song from the Marushko date skit. Is it actually? I don't remember that. But I haven't watched that video in years, so. All right, Maria, let's go. Yes, Maria, you fucking ledge. Maria is actually such a legend. I don't know what happens. Whenever I practice this mission, she never fucking jumps. Whenever I'm streaming, she just will happily fling herself down. Absolute legend. So is your new flight in a different city town to my old one? No, it's the same place. It's like a 10 minute walk away from my old place. Stream luck, yeah, maybe. Maria is just a sucker for the limelight. That's true. It's the more likely story. Is it better or worse? It's better in every way. There's no issues with mold. I got my own office. It's like barely more expensive. Um, my other bills are cheaper here. Like my utilities are cheaper. I have decent internet that doesn't drop fucking 10,000 frames per stream. Better neighbors. That don't cry when I'm talking at nine o'clock. Like, it's this, it's so much better. I love this place. Yeah, it's Pog. Have I streamed LCS or VCS? Yeah, I've streamed full playthroughs of both. I actually recently played through um, RE LCS, which is LCS on the PC, made in the Vice City engine. And I still need to edit that, to edit that together and put it on YouTube, actually. That's one of my next projects that I'm going to be making on YouTube after Titan Thrice stuff is done. And then I also have a VCS. My VCS playthrough is even 100%. I did a full hundo playthrough on stream. That's up on both Twitch and YouTube. It's... Oh, I'm going to crash now, I think. Yeah. I don't know why, but when you get that weird camera angle, uh, you crash on the second instance. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Never played either of those. I, if you're a fan of these games, I'd always recommend you playing them. They're worth a playthrough at least to see if you like them. You can easily play them on PSP emulator. Or like mobile or whatever, you know. Well, I think LCS is on mobile, but VCS isn't. But I mean, you could emulate it on mobile, I guess. That also crashes. Okay. I was too late there, I think. Yeah, VCS soundtrack is awesome. Wee. Played Chinatown Walls on DS. That put me off to them also. Chinatown Walls is nothing like LCS and VCS. And also that's DS, you know. 
Like, I'd always recommend Chinatown Walls on PSP. Slow, but it works. Being able to buy your weapons back after death is also great. Yeah, I agree. It's a very good mechanic. VCS has a ton of great mechanics. Like, getting a checkpoint every five levels on submissions is also a fucking great mechanic. It's just a shame that they compounded that with 15 levels for some stupid reason. Like, 10 is more than enough. 12 is already stupid. 15 is just a joke. I really died from that? Come on, man. Fuck's sake. This late game Portland is just falling apart now. I've never died to that mega jump, ever. It's the first time I've ever died to it. I must have done it like 500 times. <sighs> should have been still 12 with checkpoints every five. I firmly believe it should have been 10 with checkpoint halfway. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, you're thinking of Air Rescue Chirp. And yeah, also, the sheer amount of minigames that you have to do is crazy. You have to do, like, a hundred plus levels of stuff. It's fucking dumb. The PS2 version adds even more stuff, yeah. It's very daft. watching Josh do this earlier with the tunnel. Yeah, he, he was claiming that was speedrun strats, but that's never been a thing. <laughs> Unless it was like mega, mega boomer strats, but pretty sure nobody ever did that. Because why would you? Like, it's literally just driving in a straight line. Why would you take a scenic route there? The tunnel route is always slower. I mean, yeah, of course it is. Like, as I just said, like, the correct route is literally just driving a straight line to the fish factory. Like, any deviation of that is lost time. Uh, I probably should have stolen that taxi. It would have saved me a bit of time. Yeah, would it? Probably not.
dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Mamma mia. Has the cop randomness in your initial playthrough been toned down or do you use Bribe Star replays in runs? Um, you do use Bribe Star replays in one mission, but otherwise it's pretty much untouched. The cops are still ridiculous. and kill a lot of runs. But that's GTA 3 for you. They're always going to be a pain in the ass. Ben. That third shot is very hard. I somehow missed the two easy chances and then fucked and then somehow hit the other ones. Many missions have reduced stars throughout. I'm talking more about like the, the chaos point um, multiplication and stuff. Though, but I get your point. Although I'm not sure how how many of them are any percent missions. But uh, auto save abuse certainly removes a lot of the police issues for sure. A lot of this route is like rooted around getting rid of the police as much as possible because fuck them. I have the wrong split for this. I should split on bomb to base start for part one, but not part two. I'll probably forget to switch that as well next time. Because it's going to split now. It doesn't even split now. Never mind. All right then. <laughs> That's the first test it's failed, Hawks. Just got broken up with. Sorry to hear. Hopefully me finishing this run will will entertain you and keep your mind off it. I'll say that and then reset right now. If I do, it's not intentional, I assure you. These fucking twats. Stop. Dickhead. Oh, 
Well. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. How do y'all handle rejection? It gets easier with time. Which I know is like cliche to say, but it's true. Like time and experience are the ultimate answers there. off Portland today uh, only about five minutes on the timer more than I should have but I'll take it I fat fingered escape and almost ran the fucking dodo off the edge. That would have been good. I wonder what happens if you push the dodo off the edge. Because it's still in the same position, look. It doesn't like reset its position or anything. Probably failed the mission. That would have been a tad embarrassing. The crew Maria teleport inside it and drown. Nice. Hey Dexter, what's up? Uh chap, I disagree. It's very rare that you're gonna hit it and if it if you do it's kinda your own fault, you know. It's not like it's a bug or anything. The other option would just be don't spawn it in in the first place until... Until you, uh, like, are gonna go and enter it, you know? But what do I know? I 
I don't know shit about game design. Yeah, true, Pazin. That's a great point. Then the page you want to make sense? Also true. That's a great point, chap. You guys are making some great points right now. Bro. Bro. Impossible trick. All right, Enzio, thanks for hanging out. See you later. Yo! Yo, come back! I need a vehicle. Specifically yours. Bro, get out of the way! Thank you. What?! Why?! I wasn't holding shift! Why didn't he just close the- Fuck off. There's no reason why I should get busted there. I wasn't holding any buttons to start accelerating right away. It's the auto bust mechanic. I thought that only happened if you like canceled their animation by like bumping into them or something. Which I swear I didn't do. Well, there goes another two minutes. It's possible that it happened somehow. Awesome. I love losing two minutes to random dumb shit like that. Fucking dumb. Nice cop. Fucking typical. All the camera angles at the same time. Pretty sure. At least I've never noticed a difference. Hey Julian, thanks buddy.
Uh, it's called a thousand miles, Saraj. That's a very clean mission. Hey, PHP, what's up? Thanks for the good luck. This one's kind of crap, but it's alive and that's all that matters. Nice trash master. That traffic, so I'm not going to risk it in top down. Not worth it. I have enough time. Get to the phone in South Belleville Park. Bifrost, that's the wrong game. Wrong game. Bifrost, no, someone tell him. That's the wrong game. You're going to look a fool of yourself. Make a fool of yourself. I'm also making a fool of myself with silly comments like that. Uh oh, I'm spinning out. Help me, mummy. You're gonna look a fool of yourself, yeah. Talk about egg on my face. How embarrassing. Whew. but it's fine, I'm not exactly going far. Uh, kind of can, bread. it's a bit crap, but it'll do. It's alive. Those are the best kind of runs. The runs that are alive. This cop is gonna screw me, I can feel it.
Thanks, Prosto. Bro, it's fucking cops. Move. It's turn to split her off for this mission. Because otherwise it'll split for the wrong one. Another change from the other runs that you might have seen me do, to anyone who was wondering, um, I'm going to get busted instead of death warping here, because I don't need the ambulance, and obviously it makes sense to spawn at the police station with a police car, which is way closer than the hospital. Hospital's all the way up north. <laughs> Having two stars also actually helps here, now I think about it. Because I should hopefully get a cop. Yep. Perfect. I just need to get busted. Just let me in any of the fucking cars, man. Cool. Much faster than death warping. Oh my god, hi Liv. We were, uh, we were talking about you earlier, and your amazing gift of my travel bag for ESA Winter. How's it going? Uh, it's going okay. Uh, we'll find out in exactly one mission's time. Because this is where the big setup begins. I despawned my cop car, that's cringe. Now I need another one, because I need a cop car. Fuck's sake. Is that a cop car? Up there? I despawned whatever it was. I would usually teleport here. This is where the teleport was going to come in handy, but I need a cop car, so... No, I can't teleport. Um, I guess I'll go to the police station. Oh, there's one right here. That works too. Police. Give me cop car. Yeah. That warp doesn't save a lot of time, so it's not a big deal. It's way more important that, it get, that I get a cop car. How it despawned? I don't know. Like, you can park so close to the Donald marker and it not despawn, but there, yeah, for some reason it does. I don't question it. Fucking game's dumb. He 
Hey Shiva, welcome. I used to play this in 2005. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I missed my turn by mistake. Whoops. Also, I have good news for you after stream. Okay. How exciting. Yeah. So I want to take this guy back in the cop in the cop car, which you can actually do. So I'm gonna keep this here to open the gate, but then use the cop car. The grenade fell through the floor, nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. There goes three minutes. Awesome. At least I can not despawn my cop car this time. Why did you lose three minutes? Some guy was supposed to be shooting at me, but instead he shot an explosive barrel that killed me through the wall. If you must know. This is what you're intended to do, by the way. It's only a little bit faster because you still have to drive south to ammunition anyway. But still a couple of seconds is a couple of seconds. Because I'm going to save and load before I use the next warp anyway, so may as well just use it. It's free. It was a helicopter mission to put bombs in an apartment. You're probably thinking of Demolition Man from uh, from Vice City. Different game. place for that taxi to park. Move! I don't know why these guys shoot at me anyway, even though this, their AI is supposed to be deactivated. It's so dumb. Blow that out prematurely this time. Lesson learned. That usually takes five seconds to explode, but sure. Yep. Fucking hell. What a mission. Still a good solid chance I'd die here as well, which is the fucking worst part. <sighs> Thanks for the eight months of Prime, Liv. Brofist. There might be a bribe to pick up that's faster than paying spraying here, but... Yeah, I agree, Milty. Uh, 
Uh, you can, Harry, but you can only gift them to a, like a very select amount of people. Depending on your growth, I only have one. And I gave it to James like years ago, I think. Seven minute long liberator. Epic. I'm gonna go and heal just in case, cause I can't really be asked to die now. All right, so this is the brand new setup that most of you probably haven't seen. It's very exciting and it's very difficult to explain and it's very difficult to pull off. So I'm probably not gonna explain it fully, but all that you need to know is that I need to get 30k rockets again because I died. And the quickest way to get 30k rockets is to pass a mission while on a rocket rampage. And it just so happens that there's a really easy way to kill to kill Kenji by shooting him with rockets through a wall and a floor. And then finish the mission by stepping on a really particular piece of geometry in Staunton that doesn't count as any of the forbidden territories. Because there isn't like an overlap on like a several pixel line that you'll see. And it gives me just enough time to set up 30k by abusing that. <laughs> yeah, we needed a wall hack to figure it out. That's how tricky this thing is. And I don't have the luxury of the wall hack when I'm not playing, uh, when I'm not practicing, so. You have to do it blind instead, which is very fun. I forgot the Cartel Cruiser. And this is why I don't talk when I do it, because if I forget one thing, it's over. Now I need a cop car again. Guess we're going back to the police station. <sighs> Fucking hell. Any car is a cop car if you think hard enough. I wish that were true. Sadly, it's not. Let me concentrate. Of course, now I have one. There's a cop car right there, which would have been such a convenient spawn. So now we're on the rampage. Now I need to go and grab the cartel cruiser because I can't do the mission without it. <laughs> Please move out of the way, random bit of car geometry. All right, so we go here, which triggers Kenji to spawn. We reverse into this corner. We rocket away the random limo that comes flying down for no reason. And we blow up our cartel cruiser, which we need, and that's over again, cool. Because of course there was a taxi that parked right in between the two that caused the perfect chain reaction. Awesome. Awesome, 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 dude.
There goes another three minutes. Or maybe more like two, actually. Hey, look, a cop car. Why is there a limo flying down anyway? Because it's bugged. Uh, this way. <laughs> Bro. It was the opposite way around, Harry. Can't blame him, to be honest. Your stream is pretty good. Yeah, nice save there, Hox. <laughs> nice save. This is like perfectly in the way. And hey, there's a cop car. So not only is this perfectly blocking my view, but also there are cops that are going to fuck me over here. And this random woman's trying to beat me up for no reason. Cool. Awesome. What a great game. I love it when random pedestrians just stand right there. Why did you try to do that? Ah, yes. The better option when I have five seconds of leeway is to spend 30 seconds trying to run away or trying to fight her somehow with the rocket launcher point blank. Yeah, there was obviously a way out of that. Yeah, my bad. English Ben, I can't believe you didn't make the perfect decision while you were playing in the situation. I can't believe you didn't do it. I can't believe you're not perfect. I don't get it, English Ben. I'm perfect. Why can't you be perfect? What happened? Uh, I just got screwed on Wakigashira three times in a row. By random traffic and then a random pedestrian. Didn't even get a chance to actually do the setup. Because I just got fucked both times. <laughs> oh, well. Is anyone playing GTA that is actually doing like runs of something? GDQ is? Oh yeah, G uh, they're doing the, the GTA 4 thing out there. I'll host GDQ. Me and, me and GDQ are boys. Maybe they'll host me back one day. All right, uh, go and say hi to uh, Kyle and wish him the best of luck on his GDQ run. Uh, let me rate it before I forget. Uh, 
Uh, slash raid, game's done quick. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great rest of your week if I don't see you. And yeah, see you later. Mwah.